Hi, good evening, guys. I only see three people. It's okay. It's good conditions. Hi, good evening. How is everything today? How are you guys? Are you guys there? Hello, hello, people. Good evening. Hi. Mauricio, hi Mauricio. Welcome. Hi. How are you today? Uh, today was fine for, for me because I... <clears throat> I was working on my myself to do different things for and now I'm trying to to practice my English and, and work worked last night in, in the platform but I I didn't have a, a, any result with the with the fra phrase that I had to complete it. Just the options with the uh, a or B or, or false and true. And I don't know if you can help me today after class. I can help you out. Yes, no problem. Okay, thanks. Yes, I can help you. But how do you feel, Mauricio? Okay, I'm feeling good. good. Bad. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm feeling good. Awesome. So, awesome. uh, I, I got an allergy, and, but I I, heard, I, I used uh, um, like a, a medicine to put in my, in my skin. But mm -hmm. it's okay for me now, and I'm tomorrow. I'm going to work at seven a.m. and my first day after my my medical leave, and only that I I I'm feel good and without any stress and uh, with five days off, like a vacation, a short vacation. I'm sorry. Are you gonna work? You're going back to work tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. Yes. It is sad. Yes. It is. It is really sad. Yes. All right. All right. Well, uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining Mauricio, Eric, Magdiel, Mario, Marilyn. Uh, Emerson, I got your message. Thank you. How are you guys? How are you, Eric? How's everything? Hey, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. I'm, I'm okay. What about you? How's everything? At the moment, so far, so good. So far, so good. All right, all right. How was your, your, your day, your Tuesday? Uh, what's amazing? Hey, why? Because I was working uh, uh, in a platform uh, about accounting. And about I what, could... sorry? Accounting. Oh, okay. And I could uh, set up uh, the platform. You could. And it works. Uh, well, in that in that moment, because I could uh, I could make some process uh, in a few in a few minutes, uh -huh. and and now I have enough time to develop uh, others other taxes that's why okay so your day was awesome huh all right that's good that's good to yes, know for sure i'm glad i'm glad to hear that eric yes and i'm glad that you're here again you're uh making a lot of effort to be here that's good that's good thank you for joining thank you let me see what what uh mario has to say mario how are you mario how's everything I find it. 
Excellent. How was your day? Very good. Very good. Did you do uh, anything interesting? Did you work? Ask. I'm sorry? Uh, uh, it's a uh, work is a uh, so so. It was so so. All right. All right. I understand that. Why? What happened? Oh, I'm not so sure. La misma rutina every day. The same routine every day? Yes. As always. <laughs> no difference. Nothing. All right, I understand. Well, you, you should try to do something different, like like, uh, try a different activity or try a different uh, strategy to do, to, to do things. In that way, you will not get bored. Yeah. All right, excellent. Thank you, Mario, for joining today's session. It's good to have you here again. Marilyn, welcome, Marilyn. How are you today? Hi, good evening. I'm so fine. Thank you for asking. Yes, no problem. No problem. How was everything? How was your day? Your Tuesday? How was it? So, it was fine. It was fine. Did you work? Yeah. In my in my job in my house, it's fine. All right, all right. That's good. That's good. That's good to know. Okay, very good. Well, Madi, thank you for for joining. I hope you're getting better, feeling better about your knee. Yes, yes. All right, Magdil, how is everything, Magdil? How are you today? I believe that you're driving right now. I'm not sure. I'm asking. <laughs> I want to make sure. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Are I you had home a... already? Yes, I am at home. All right, excellent. This is the first yes, time. I huh? had, a, had a hard working day. Oh, really? Oh, no. Yes. You feel tired today? Sorry? Are you, are you exhausted? Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry. Yeah. And it's, it's Tuesday. <laughs> it is Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta yeah. work more days. Uh and, oh no, I'm sorry. Yes. Sad. It is really sad. All right, all right. Yes. But the good thing is that you are here, uh Mangia. Thank you for for being here today. Uh well, let me see. Stephanie, we got Julissa, Rafael, and uh, Emerson. Guys, I'm not sure. Well, Emerson, I'm sure about him, but not about the other three. And it's, uh, are you guys going to be as listeners? Let me know, please. Katia, hello, Katia. Good evening. Good evening, Elizabeth. Yes, I'll, I will be as a listener because I'm still working. You're still working? Yes. This is how I feel about this. No, me, me too. <laughs> and this one too, look, and the other one is this one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry. I'm sorry. It is sad. It is 8 p.m. Who is working at this time right now? You. And I'm not um going to finish soon. You're not? No. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm sorry, Stephanie. Well, the good thing is that you are here. If you're able to participate in some time, let me know, all right? Okay, sure. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. All right. Gatia, hello, Gatia. How is everything today? How is your Tuesday or how was your Tuesday? Hi, teacher. I think that I'm fine. You think? You, today? you think? <laughs> yeah, I think. All right, all right. The world to know it is exhausted. <laughs> and okay. the schedule having the traffic and well to think for me mm, i don't know I, I think it's good but we have a lot of i have a lot of work <laughs> for this you, week you had you had a lot of work today yeah i all have right. and i have <laughs> in the past ah. in the past. all right i'm sorry that, maybe that. The <laughs> yeah a new project to start in the work yeah. 
Okay, I understand. So, uh, I am trying <laughs> You're to trying. survive. That, and that's, that's the good thing. Or that that's actually what we have to do every day. Try. Yes. We gotta yeah. try. Yeah. We gotta we have to do our thing, you know, uh try to do our best and just keep going. <laughs> there's no yeah. other, there's no other option, there's no other yeah. way. We gotta we got we have to keep going. Moving forward, yeah. No matter what, yeah. Well, yeah. thank you for for joining today's session, Katia. It's good to have you here again. Thank you, thank you. It's no problem. I am angry because I didn't eat tonight. <laughs> you what? Sorry, you did what? I am angry. You're no, hungry. 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 <laughs> Okay, I thought you no. were angry, like angry. Why? <laughs> like, why are you angry right now? <laughs> and you, why? I was like, why? Why is she angry? No, I know, hungry. Sorry, I sometimes hungry. I am dyslexic. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. It's okay to be hungry. You should yeah, eat thank something you. right now. Or try. Yeah, it is time. I think. Yes. Well, thank you, Katia. Let's see. Diego, how are you, Diego? How is everything? Thank you for joining. Hi, teacher. Um, I'm just coming to my house and I'm going to to take my dinner because I'm really hungry, like my classmate. <laughs> all right, all right. And, and uh, I'm... Tell, tell me, how was your, your, your Tuesday? Fantastic. But, was good, really stressed, but good. I think that I did, I did good things, mm -hmm. and the other more or less. <laughs> okay, I understand that. I understand that. Yes, but in um, in general, was good. It was good. It was good. All right. What about you? Um, I don't know. Maybe today. I think uh, in this year, two thousand twenty-three, today was the hardest day at work. Uh, I mean, I work at a school, and uh, I know it is difficult every day with you know, with a lot of children, kids, teenagers. Uh, it's difficult to control them to. Uh, put up with them it's it's difficult but uh it is not really really uh how can i say this physically tiring it's more like emotionally and psychologically tiring but not physically speaking and today i did a lot of physical work because i was moving chairs and doing a lot of arrangements so i think today was uh, the most uh physically tiring day at work Tomorrow it's a graduation uh for uh ninth grade. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about tomorrow. But it was a tiring day today. I mean physically tiring. It was a good day, but it was physically tiring, yes. It was okay. Yes. And I'm but okay right now. I'm okay. You, you are not teaching um during the day, right? No, I'm not. I just go from uh well, we finished the the, the this uh, school year in October well on October twenty let me see school year ended in well actually on October twenty seventh on October twenty seventh we finished the school year and then we had a uh, two two weeks of uh makeup exams. And now I'm just going to school just to be there to uh, finish uh, finish up some things like grades, paperwork. That's pretty much what I'm doing. Yes, it's kind of boring. <laughs> kind of boring. I think. Yeah, because uh, let me tell you that when there are students, when there are students, the, 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 the time goes really fast. It goes quickly. And now that I'm going there and I see no students, time goes slowly. I don't know why. Yes, I keep checking. I keep checking the time, the time, the time is. It, it goes very slowly. 
very, very slowly. Believe me. I don't know why. It's, I think it's psychological, you know. <laughs> I, I know you because when I'm working and there are no people or there, there are no consumers, customers, I think that the day is really bored. Exactly, but yes. I think that this uh, this is the the temporada, how do you say? It? Season. Season, yes. Yeah. This is the the season that there are a lot of people um um buying uh, products or services. In my case, I'm working giving service, a service. And there are a lot of people, angry people, um people that wants to fight with me only because they want they have i think that they have a, a bad day and they yeah. come to 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 my 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 work yes and they they want to fight Espe especially i i i had a problem yesterday with a lawyer because in the service that we give in, in the in the work um the people has to have to have to um 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 care llenar un contrato oh fill out fill out a contract a contract a contract yes ha have to fill out a contract and if you if you are buying something and if the contract the contract says something that you you are not agree with that you are agree, agree with, with that agree uh -huh. with. Uh, you are not agree with that uh, with yes as you only say okay i don't want your your service and you you go to other place but the people who wants to fight and say um give me the the, the classes because we are buy we we buy classes driving classes and the people says eh, i want my classes and you have to give it to me but i don't want to 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 pull out the the contract and it's it's illogical because it's our gar gar guarantee because we have to 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 put the our politics mm -hmm. in, in, in on the on the table and the people has to know it uh, have to know that yes right. well, a lot of things to do right many many things to do uh yeah. well, yes uh thank you everybody for joining to this session let me take attendance and then we will have nothing else to do but to start Diego Jose Benitez Leiva. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. I'm here present. Thank you. Julissa Jamilet Villalta Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present teacher. Good Thank evening. You. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. See you there. Uh, Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Thank you, Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present. Thanks, Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. I'm here. Thank you, Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. 
Let's see. Raúl Eldardo Muñoz del Cid. And that's it. That's it. That's it. So thank you, Raúl. And let me see who else. And you, Lisa, right? Okay. Thank you both. All right, yes. We're going to start right now. Give me a second. I have a... Uh, some something here that is uh, giving me some problems. My bracelets are giving me some issues. Hold on. All right, I'm sorry. It was hurting, that's why. Okay, we're gonna start. Let me share the presentation and to show you what we will be doing. Let me share this to you guys. All right, here we go. Uh, as you know, today is class number 16. This means that we are starting or beginning our fourth week our fourth week and that uh, today we or you are going to start working on the section number three on the platform yes section three from today until next week monday it's class number 16 right yes very good thank you guys for joining Let's begin. Let me show you the book right now. And look at this. Here we go. Unit 3 or Section 3 on the platform. I will be able to outline the basics of digital marketing. And that is the unit all about, all about or that is the title of the unit. Digital marketing. Yes, that's what we will be uh, working on from today until Monday, yes. We're gonna get back to this later on before we continue working on that. I wanna show you this. I want you guys to uh, give me some ideas about marketing. It says here, let's brainstorm about, about marketing. So guys, what can you say about this? What is marketing or what comes to your mind or what ideas do you get when you see the word marketing? What comes to your mind when you see the word marketing? Tell me. Let's come up with some ideas. I think there is an strategy to to, okay. to take the people attention. To get. Yes, to get, sorry. Here we go, this one. Okay, that's a good point. It says there, and a strategy to get, excuse me, and a strategy to get people's attention. Okay, that's a good one. Thank you for sharing it. What else can you say? What, what else comes to your mind when you see marketing, the word marketing? What is it? What is it? Come on, guys, give me some ideas. Give me some ideas. Hello? <laughs> Are you guys there? Hello, teacher. Yes, tell him again. I think uh, marketing is um, the best way to show a product 
Yes. It's product. your product. Yeah. Uh, the... mar marketing is the best way to show a product. Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Excellent. Let's come up with four four more ideas. Let's have six ideas. We got uh we have six arrows over here. Or or yeah, pretty much six arrows. So let's come up with, with uh four more ideas, people. Four more ideas about marketing. People hello, I need your ideas. Tell me, tell me. Let me see. I'm going to choose people directly since I don't, I'm not getting any volunteers. I'm going to choose uh, people directly. Okay. Like me this, no? Hi, good evening. Tell me. For, for me, maybe it's the way. Uh, that a uh, one business can introduce a product uh, in consumers' mind. What? <laughs> the, I just got it's the way. It's the way of what? It's the way that one business can introduce a product of the consumers' mind. I think that is something mental, like a strategy, a strategies about the colors. It takes yes, something yes. like that. It's the way that a business can introduce a product, you said, right? A product in the consumer's mind. Customers, right? Customers. Okay, to the customer's mind. I like this one too. It's good, it's good. All right, thank you. Thank you, uh, Katia, for your idea. It's the way it's the way that a business can introduce a product to the customers' minds. Actually, I, I got it wrong already. Hold on, let me fix it. It's not like this. Just like this. There you go. Customers' mind. Yes. Let's let's come up with three more ideas. Anything. It doesn't have to be a definition. It can be just an idea of what uh, of what. Like what comes to your mind when you see the word marketing? Well, it's a, it, go ahead. Yeah. Yes, Mario, go ahead. <laughs> the, the set the strategies of communication. Um, a set of strategies. Strategies. What else? Okay, just that. Of communication and advertising. Of communication. Communication. And advertising. Oh, okay. and, and advertising. All right. Excellent. Good one. Good one. Mauricio, you were about to say uh, uh, or to provide your opinion. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I, I I love the idea, but uh, I I was thinking about that marketing is like a a way to show or to create needs for the customers. Um, for for customers and I'm only that. Say why not? I want I, to add something in this. It's right. a way to show or create needs for customers that they don't know that they need. Okay. That they don't know they need. Okay. Okay. Is the way to show or create needs for customers that they know don't know they need. All right. All right. That one is good too. Let's come up with one more, one more, and then uh, we're going to move on to see the real definition of marketing. Me one teacher. more uh, idea. Yes, Luis. Oh, good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry to be late again. 
It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. The good thing is that you are here. Late, barely, thank you, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Uh, I think that marketing uh, is something like, uh, or it is a group of ideas that aims to Im improve the marketing of a product. There you go. It, it is a marketing is a group of ideas that aim to improve the marketing of a product. Okay. Sounds good too. Sounds good. I did not add the dot over here. So strategy is a strategy. A strategy, sorry. You see strategy. Let me see the way. All right. Thank you guys for your opinions. We got some definitions for marketing. It's a for marketing is pretty much what you have said over here. All the ideas that we have over here are very or pretty accurate and they are very close to the real definition of the word. Yes. Now, let me see. Let me read them to you. Marketing is the way that a business can introduce the product to the customer's minds. Marketing is a strategy to get people's attentions, attention, sorry, people's attention. Marketing is the best way to show a product. Marketing is the is a way to show or create needs for customers that uh, don't know they need. Marketing is a set of strategies of communication and advertising, right? Marketing is a group of ideas that aim to improve the marketing of a product. People, excellent, excellent. Very good ideas, very good definitions for the word marketing. Yes. Let me see. Uh, all those advertising and com or commercial actions and strategies that are executed in the media and communication channels. All right. That one is good too. Thank you, Mario, for sharing it. Guys, if you want, you can go read it over there in the chat. You can find it there. Good definition. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's continue. What is marketing? Let me read this to you. Then I'm going to have a person read it as well. What is marketing? Marketing is the action of promoting a product or service. Marketing is a broad term that encompasses all activities in, involving the advertising and selling of an item to customers. The goal of marketing is to identify the ideal customers for a particular product or service, and then promote that, an, that item in a way that captures the customer's interest. Very good, very good one. Let me help you out with the vocabulary. You might not know what broad is. Do you know what broad is? Broad means complex. Marketing is a complex term. It means that it's, it has many, many definitions and many, many ideas. Or, well, as you could, as you, as you could see uh, on the previous activity, we provided some ideas. The ideas was, were kind of different, but they aimed to provide the same or to, to create the same idea. So broad means complex, complex. Right, yes. Uh encompasses means uh like uh cover, like cover include like in Spanish incluir, involucra, incluye. Yes. That's what encompass is encompass. This case it encompasses. All right. Uh I need a person to read the definition of marketing. For sure. I want to try go ahead. Okay, what is marketing? Marketing is the action of promoting a product or service. Marketing is a broad term that encompass, encompasses all activities, encompasses all activities involving the advertising and selling of an item to customers. The goal of marketing is to identify the ideal customer for a particular product or service and then promoted that items 
in a way to capture these customers' inter interest. Interest, exactly, exactly. Thank you. Well, what you guys said before or in the previous activity is the same that we have over here. It's the action of promoting a product or service. Yes. In different, in different, uh, with different strategies, of course, as you were saying, yes. All right, very good. Let's continue de dealing with uh, with marketing, understanding marketing. Let me read one, one by one, and then I'm going to give you a chance to read one by one as well. Marketing involves drawing in new customers as well as building the relationship with existing ones to give them coming back. This includes any promotional efforts or strategies to, that seek to engage customers and make sales, including phone calls and in-person events, print and online advertising, social media and in-person marketing, and branding. Yes, uh, we got the word, the phrasal verb draw in. Draw in is the same as the word you said before. What was the word? Uh, like this is the word attract, attract. Yes, draw in means attract, or in Spanish atraer. Okay, yes, atracción, atraer nuevos nuevos clientes. Yes, as well as uh, let me see. Oh, uh, seek, seek is the same as look for or search, search or look for or buscar, right? Engage, what is engage, guys? Engage customers. You got to seek and engage. Engage has uh, different definitions. In this context, it's like saying, uh, like, involucrar, all right? Yes, well, well there's one word uh, I cannot really Compromise. remember right now. Uh, how can I this? Like, yeah, yeah, involucrar, right? That's the best one. That's the best one. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. All right. Are or enganchar, algo así. Something like that. Exactly. Uh -huh, enganchar. That's the first. That, that that's the best. That the best one over there. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Very good. Very good. All right. Uh, I need a person to read that paragraph or that part over there. That short paragraph. I can help. Thank you, Diego. Go ahead. Excellent. Okay, understanding marketing. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, I can't read it because you are. <laughs> okay, I did it. Marketing involves drawing in new customers as well as building the relationship with existing ones to keep them coming back. This includes any promotional efforts or strategies strategies that seek to engage customers and make sales including phone calls and in-person events print and online advertising social media and influencer marketing and branding uh, depending on the type oh, wait, of wait. business no. wait only the first one <laughs> okay Sorry. okay thank you Diego. thank you Diego. all right all right that is one one uh how can I say this? Well, a point, a point for, for about marketing, all right? Then we have a second paragraph over here. Let me read it to you and then read your vocabulary. Depending on the type of business, marketing efforts may target either businesses or consumers. Business to business, B2B, as you know, uh, marketing directs all promotional activities toward an audience of businesses. For example, B2B marketers at a software company may advertise and sell primarily to other companies rather than individuals. Business to consumer marketing B2C, on the other hand, involves marketing to consumers. All right. I need a volunteer to read. Oh, wait, let me see the vocabulary here. Uh, to I'm word... a volunteer teacher. Okay, Fabricio, excellent. To word. Asia, Asia. All right, that's the that's what it means. Uh, see, oh, either means all. 
thing, thing only that. If you guys have any questions about the vocabulary, don't forget to let me know. I'm here, okay? I'm here to help you out. Fabricio, read it. Just this one. Okay. Depending on the type of business, marketing efforts may target either businesses or consumers. Business to business, B2B, marketing directs all promotional activities toward an audience of businesses. For example, B2B marketers uh, at a software company may advertise and sell primarily to other companies rather than to individuals. Business to consumer marketing, B2C, on the other hand, involves marketing to consumers. All right. Thank you, Fabricio, for reading. Let's take a look at the last one. Remember, we are trying to understand all about marketing, all right? We have read uh, two points or two things related to marketing. The last one. Often, the first step of a good marketing is making sure that you have a solid product or service to sell and a presentable representation of a product of that product or service. To do so, many marketers start by creating a website that that'll help their product look professional and provide a deeper explanation of what might appear in their marketing campaigns. Oh, let me see the uh, vocabulary word over here that I saw one or someone is going to find it. He got it right. No, no questions about it. All right. Do I have a volunteer to read? Me, teacher. All right, Stephanie, excellent. Thank you very much. Which part? The last one. Okay. Often, the first step of good marketing is marking, making sure that you have a solid product or service to sell and presentable representation of the product or service. To do so, many marketers start by creating a website. Though help their product look professional and provide a deeper explanation of that of what might appear in their my marketing campaigns all right thank you for reading stephanie people excellent i think we are understanding more about marketing uh now we're gonna see four four uh concepts or aspects about about marketing they are called the four p's of marketing as a whole, marketing encompasses the four P's, product, price, place, and promotion. As you can see, all of them start with the P. Let's see. Let's read these ones. Let me read them to you, and then I'm going to ask for you, uh, for participants to, to read. Product refers to the good or service being offered to a customer. Effective marketing strategies take into account what a product, sorry, what product is being sold and how it stands out for its from its competitors, as well as the market demand for that product. So pretty much the product is the, the good or service being offered, right? That's a product. The good or the service being offered to people. What is uh people? What is a stand out? The word stand out. You know, stand is, is like when you're when you physically physically go up when you're like laying down or sitting down, and you stand. But with the word the preposition, sorry, out, it has a completely different meaning. You know what it is to stand out? No. Okay. It says there, effective marketing strategies take into account what product is being sold or how it, it, or how it is different, different from its competitors. Stand out is like difference, difference. Uh, but the, the right word in Spanish is sobresale, sobresale, y como sobresale, de su competitor, uh, de la competencia, sobresalir. The other word is uh, resaltar. Yes, yes, that's the word. Sobresalir, resaltar. Those are the, 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 the definitions for stand out. Stand out. 
it really stands out. Yes. All right. I need a person to read the the, the product. Oh, lady. Okay, ladies. Katia, go ahead. Mario, you're gonna read oh. price, okay? Okay, thank you. Product refers to the good or service being offered to consumers. Effective marketing strategies take into account what product is being sold and how it stands uh, from its competitors as well as the market demand for that product. All right, thank you, Katia, for reading. Very good, very good. Let's continue with price. Mario, you're going to read price, but you're going to read after me. Price refers to how much money the product is being sold for. From a marketing standpoint, this includes searching and understanding the optimal price of the product, as well as the price the prices offered by competitors. It also involves a consideration of the net gain, assessing the production, marketing and distribution costs relative to the revenue that is the one about price all right yes very good do you have any questions about about this one? Oh, got a word over your standpoint uh how do you call this man it's uh when you go to a place and they have a not an outside store but in the store, you can see the products uh, through, a, through a glass. Like vitrina, right? That's what it is. Vitrina, vitrina, right? It's something like there. That's a standpoint. Yes. It's like a vitrina, all right? That's a standpoint. Mostrador. Exactly. Yes, yes. Yes, that's a standpoint over here. Yes. You can see the product through a glass. Maybe you cannot really touch it because there is a glass in front of you, but you can see it. You can see the prices. Yes. All right. Let me see. Okay, we got it. Uh, Mario, can you read it? Advantage of quality. Can you read price? Okay. Price refers to how much money the product is being sold for. From a marketing standpoint, this includes researching and understanding the optimal price of the product, as well as the prices offered by competitors. It also involves a consideration of the net gain, assessing the production, marketing, and distribution costs relative to the revenue. All right, to the revenue, yes. Very good, thank you for reading, Mario. We have seen product and price. We still have to see place and promotion. They are easy to understand, but let's read the definition of each. Yes, we got the uh, place. Refers to the distribution of the product. This includes considerations such as whether the product is sold through a physical storefront, online store, or via a combination of both. Marketers also evaluate the best way to, to present and display their products on each different channels. On each of these different channels, that's what it is, right? All right, very good. Yes. Do I have a person to, to read the paragraph? Hello? Me, teacher. Anyone? Thank you, Mauricio. Go ahead, read it. Go for it. Place refers to the distribution of the product. This includes considerations such as whether the product is sold through the physical storefront, online store, or via? Via, yes, via. Via a, a combination of both. Marketers also, also evaluate the best way to present and display play their products on each of these different channels. All right. Thank you, Mauricio, for reading. And let's read the last P, promotion. 
refers to the communication aspect of marketing. This includes advertising, sales, and the public relations. A powerful marketing strategy involves tailoring different types of promotions for different audiences, depending on their interests, lifestyle, and needs. It also tends to evolve with uh, the life cycle of the product as well as the trend, as well as trends in the market. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Let's see. Do we have a person to read the uh, promotion? No. The teacher, the, the word tailoring. Yes. What is it? All right, yes. let me explain this to you. How can I do it? Do you know what Taylor is? The person? The occupation? Sastre. Yes? Yes, in this case, this tailoring is, is being used as a verb. Referring, referring to the occupation. To the occupation. And it will be like coser in the, as a verb. Coser, confeccionar. But in this case, it's, it's like uh, como construyendo, construyendo, armando. Yes. Involves uh, construyendo, armando, diferentes tipos de promociones. That's what tailoring is. Hello, teacher. I, I want to read. Oh, okay. Excellent. My Go ahead. Promotion. Promotion. Yes. Okay. Promotion refers to the communication aspect of marketing. This includes advertising, sales, and public relations. A powerful marketing strategy involves tailoring different types of promotion for different audiences, depending on their interest, lifestyle, and needs. It also tends to involve with the life cycle of the product, as well as trend in the market. All right. We got it. Thank you very much for reading, Magdiel. Excellent. Now, we're going to continue. And uh, that was it about, about this, about Mark. Well, no, there's one more. And uh, the last one is understanding what uh, digital marketing is. We have seen all about marketing, right? But this one is digital marketing. It's easy to understand. You know what it is, right? It, is, it says here, digital marketing, also known as online marketing, is an umbrella term that refers to all types of internet-based marketing. Businesses use digital marketing to reach their target audiences through online channels. So basically, digital marketing is everything related to marketing through the internet or using the internet or as it says here, internet-based marketing, right? That's what it is. Let's go back to the book over here. And uh, let's discuss the first questions that we see in part number one. Let's begin. What are some common examples of digital advertising? Guys, what can you say about this? What are some common examples of digital advertising right now or nowadays? Teacher, uh, maybe yes. the ads that appears in almost every website we visit. The what, sorry? The apps. The ads, ads. Oh, ads, yes. Yeah. Alice. Yeah, they are everywhere. ADS. They are everywhere. Sorry, my pronunciation right? is not too good. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. The ads. The ads. I, I heard apps. It's okay. It's okay. It's confusing. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. That's a good example. What else? What else can you say? Digital advertising. What else? Mm -hmm. 
And the more ideas, no people. All right, second question. Has digital marketing changed since the 90s? Since the 90s? What about this one? What do you think? Has digital marketing changed since the 90s? Yeah, yeah, yes, I believe. Can you say how? Can you give us an example how? Sorry, teacher. Um, what's the question? The first or the second? The second one, the second question. I think that, yes, because now we are, we are like, our society is like um, liberal. Yes. And the public or the focus it's really different um, than these years because in the past the people were more um how can i say that like um conservators and now we are uh, liberal in all law of, in, in the most of aspects, yes, because um now we can see uh, uh, a ma a man or a uh, woman in bikini, for example, or in um yes, in bikini, and for us it's really common, but in the past, in the past it was like um bad. You know, but we're we're close-minded. That's why. Yes, and now we are like, um, acostumbrados. We're used to. We are used to. We are yes. You are. We are used to. We are used to. We are used to to see, um, to see to seeing. To see, yes, we are used to see um a lot of a lot of things that um we think that there are um normal or different, and that's it. Okay, thank you for your example or for your opinion, Diego. Do I have more opinions? Has digital marketing changed since the nineties? We're talking about 30 years ago, 30, 30, yeah, 33 years ago, almost 34. <laughs> Tell me, how, how, how has it changed? How different it is from the past? To, to my point of view, I believe yes. that mm, in the 90s, uh, they only show the product uh, in the same in the same product with the brand or maybe using uh, paper in, in the in the wax mm. mm, something like that they they didn't use social media Mm -hmm. And now it's we are developed a uh, extremely uh, social media using using a uh, marketing digital marketing and we use very well the those tools and. Uh, and after and after yes. 
we didn't before. have before. Before. we didn't have yes we didn't have that all right okay yes uh we're gonna continue dealing with this question later on because that is the last activity that we have today it's about digital marketing from the 90s yes let's see there is a conversation right here uh it's Elena and Harvey are talking about options to improve their digital marketing strategy. It's a very short conversation. Let me read this to you. It says Harvey starts by saying, we are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our co consumers data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our webpage according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct or direct marketing strategies. That is the, the conversation, all right, yes. What is makeover? It says the, the site needs a makeover. Yes. Makeover. Como una renovación. Yes. It's like a renovation. It has, exactly. It has different different definitions in Spanish, like reforma, cambio de imagen, like you said, renovación, cambio de look, nuevo look. Etc. Remodelación. There are many, many what well, transportation as well. There are many definitions in Spanish for the word makeover. Yes. All right. Uh, do you have any more questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation of the words? Not teacher. No, we're good. In my case, teacher, just the word uh, I don't know is if it uh, it's pro it pronounced data or data. Both, both are correct. You can say data or you can say data. It is not a problem. Okay, thanks. Yes. Data, data, no difference. I mean, there's a difference in pronunciation. <laughs> it's okay to say data or data. More questions about pronunciation, about definition, about meaning. No? All right, all right. Let's see. Uh, let me choose two, but okay, we got Katia and Eric. Eric, you are Harvey and Katia is Elena. For sure. Thank you both. Okay, I will start. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their Preference. Preferences. Preferences, yes. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. All right, can you please switch roles? Here we go quick. Okay, <laughs> we're trying to improve our marketing strategy uh, by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we're planning to optimize the content of, of our web page according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web design 
Define the signal that. to help us to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some pe people who may be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, thank you both for reading and participating. Let's carry on with uh, Fabricio and uh, Marilyn. Who is each one, teacher? Marilyn, are you there? Wait for it. I think she's there right now. Okay, wait. It's gonna be Mario and you. Mario? Mario is Harvey and uh, Fabricio, you are Elena. And then you switch roles. We have trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of the web page according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, switch roles. Okay, we are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that's so good. I think it's so, so, so I will sign it to help to help optimize the content in the web page. The site is a microwave. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Perfect. Thank you both for participating. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, guys. Let's continue. Let's see, Magdiel, are you there? Magdiel and Mauricio. Mauricio, you are Harvey, and Magdiel is Elena. Um, we're trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data, and then then we are planning to optimize the content or of our web page according to their preference to their preference. Yes, preferences. Well, well that sounds good. I think we should hire, hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web web page. The design needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted, contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay. We only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. All right, switch roles. We are trying to improve our marketing strategies by analyzing our customer data, and then we are planning to optimize that content of our, our web page according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs to make over. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. All right, 
Thank you both for participating. Let's uh, see if we, if we get to more participants. Let me see. Uh, Diego, yes, you. Yes, sir. Let me try with Marilyn. Marilyn again. Marilyn, are you there? She might be back. I don't think she's doing. Stephanie, are you available for this one? Yes. All right. Okay. Help us out, please. Uh, Diego, you are Harvey, and Elena is uh Stephanie, and then you switch roles. Yes, teacher. Sure. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our cons consumers' data, and then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page, web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our data marketing and strategies. We are trying to improve our marketing and strategy by analyzing our customers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, thank you both, Diego and Stephanie, for participating. People, like I said yesterday, our, our brain sometimes, uh, well, in many occasions, our brain works automatically. And uh, nobody said consumer. You say customer, customers, customers. And you say consumer, it's consumer's data or consumer's data, all right? And uh, well, I think none of you, none of you said consumer. I think all of you, all of you said uh, customer. Yes. Like I said yesterday, our brain works automatically. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no. It's, it's okay, it's okay, it doesn't It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm just saying that, you know, our brain works uh, automatically. Yes, yeah, sometimes we see the word customer. I think it's because we're used to see, saying the word customer, 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 and we do not use consumer that much, that's why. <laughs> sorry, teacher, we have a uh, dyslexia, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. What? Dyslexia. I think it's the same. I think it's the same. This I, I don't know. I'm on, I'm on a, I have never seen it before. I don't know. I think it's the same or uh, some kind of impairment or before. Dyslexia? Maybe dyslexia? Okay, it is you. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Yes, it's dyslexia. Yes. Dyslexia. The same. <laughs> yes. Okay. Reading disorder or like a reading disorder. It, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's fine. I'm going to put it like this, right? Just to highlight it. All right. Very good. Thank you for reading and thank you for participating. Let's continue with, with part number three. It says there, read the conversation again and rewrite the question, rewrite the questions as shown in the conversation. Mm -hmm. It says, how does Harvey plan to improve their marketing strategy? What does Elena suggest to improve the looks of their uh, web page? And uh, what does Elena suggest to improve the looks of the web page? There's something missing right here. Maybe what does Elena suggest to improve in the looks of the of the web page? Three. What are some disadvantages of digital marketing? All right, let me give you a couple of minutes to, to answer these questions, people. Two minutes. 
Let's answer them individually, and then we're going to see what you guys have answered. Two minutes, two minutes to answer the three questions. Although the third question is, it's not really about the conversation. I believe it's uh, your own opinion about digital marketing, the, the, the drawback of it. All right, let's see. Question number one, how does Harvey plan to improve the marketing strategy? What can you say? Tell me. Guys? Tell me, tell me. Let me see, Katia, what do you think? How does Harvey plan to improve the marketing strategy? Contact some people who may be able to help with the strategy to make cover. Contact some people. Uh, who who be able? Who are able, can be able. Okay. Who? To uh, make over to the web page. Uh, make over on the web page. All right, on the web page. Web page is there, right? Contact some people who can be able to do the makeover on the web page. Okay, all right. Let's see, let me see the second question. Thank you, Katia, for helping me out with the first one. Let's see what uh, Magdiel has in the second question. Magdiel, the second one. What does Elena want to improve? So, sorry, suggest to improve in the looks of the of their web page. Maybe the 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 first question I think that is the second second I'm sure. Okay, you think because it's coming up? Yes, because Elena said uh, that site needs to make needs a make cover. Okay, the she let's see she suggests that the site needs a make cover. Okay. 
We're gonna yeah. check number one out later on. Don't worry about it. Thank you for providing your example. And uh, let me see. Let's check the first one again then. Teacher, the second one is not a uh, hire a web designer to help them to optimize the content. The second no. one. Or no. I think both. <laughs> Suggests. Okay, let me write it down next to the the other one right here. Hire a web web designer. So that's what we need right now. All right. Yes. Wait. Now, uh, for the last one, I need your opinions. We're not going to write anything down because it's your own opinion. We're going to start by listening to what Magdiel thinks about it. Magdiel, what is your opinion? What can be a disadvantage of digital marketing? I think uh, could be um, there are some people that don't engage with the digital marketing, like uh, for example, uh, the old person that he doesn't have a cell phone or don't see social media. Yes. I think that. Okay, that that's the a good one, and I, I was actually thinking about that one right here. Like, I know that digital marketing is everywhere now. You know, twenty 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 three. Internet is, is a revolution. It has changed everything, and uh, for all people, all the elderly, it's a problem because this digital marketing is not for them. It's not really for them. Yes, so I think don't... digital marketing is 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 new. Exactly, it's a new it strategy. New. It is yeah. new, exactly. It's Around new. uh, fifteen years. Yes. Yeah, because I remember, I remember that back in two thousand eight, two thousand. Well, actually, in two thousand ten, the internet was not really common. There were uh, but some people had internet connection, but the people were the ones that had money or something like that, or influences. But people in every, like, every house, they didn't have Wi-Fi or internet. And now, like, I think everybody has internet in their houses. So it's just, uh, yeah, it is actually new. It's been around for, like you said, 15, 13, 14, or 15 years. Yes. Let's see what uh, Mauricio thinks of this. Mauricio... What can be a disadvantage for you? What do you think? Well, mm, I probably think that the, the disadvantage is less loyal customers for the same reason that you mentioned for the internet. Um, the high volume to to suffer um, um fraud or something like that. Probably that is disadvantage. Okay. Thank you for your opinion, Mauricio. It's well received. Thank you for it. Let's see, let's see what Eric thinks. Eric, what can be a disadvantage of digital marketing? Yes, according to your own per perspective. And to my point of view, I consider, I'm thinking um, a couple of years, we won't have a, a job because what mar digital marketing is only online. Um, 
and we won't have nothing to do uh, on a store on I think in a couple of years we won't have a, a stores or, or a site position to to work because for that reason yes. like a disadvantage. All right, yes, I understand your point, yes. Okay, but that's a good one as well. That's it. That's a good one as well. Yes, yeah, so we will have uh, a lot of unemployment in the future. In a couple of years, a few years, we might have some kind of unemployment. Very good. Uh, let me see more opinions. Let me try with uh, Katya. What do you think? What can be a disadvantage of digital marketing? Mm, well, maybe a fake uh, publicity. <laughs> sí, yes, yes, yes. Yes, for me, that, I think that is one. <laughs> the, I only think about that. For example, for a photo of a burger, you see, wow, <laughs> so delicious, big, uh, with a maximum colors. But when you have a reality, you have a, a small burger, uh, maybe with vegetables that is not a, a big colors, etc. So we can fall uh, in the fake publicity, fake images. Okay, fake publicity. All right, all right. Thank you for, for that one. Let me think of an example of fake publicity or fake advertising that I have mm -hmm. seen. Yeah, let only the viruses. The ones that had the ones that say you have won a million dollars. You have won oh, a cell yeah. phone. <laughs> you mm -hmm. have won an iPhone. Yes. That's not yeah. But that's not police. That, that is a that's our virus. Fake information. <laughs> it's fake information. Virus. Oh, yeah. That's a virus. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Or it's Sorry? Estafadores? I don't know how yeah. to say it. Scammers. English. Scammers. Ah, okay. So, could be a scammers. Scammers or fraud, fraudsters. Very good. Uh, swindler was the other word. Okay, we got the building vocabulary in part number four. It says there match the, the terms related to digital marketing to their corresponding meanings. So we get the uh, five terms, direct marketing or direct marketing, multi-level marketing, consumer data or uh, consumer data, optimized content, content, and sales leads. And over here, we got the four or five definitions. Guys, you have the definition right here. Give me a second over here. Hold on, give me a moment. What did I do? There's something I don't, I'm not supposed to be seeing right now. Okay, now it's okay. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. wow. We got it. Okay, done. I'm checking some now. We bet this. All right. Let me read the definitions. The information trail customers leave behind as a result of their internet use, making a website more attractive to search engines and users. It's a system of, for selling goods and services through a network or di of distributions. And uh, initiation of a consumer interest into products or, ser or services of a business. 
And the last one, the business of selling products or services directly to the public. Let me give you three minutes, four minutes, four minutes. Match the, the terms with the, with the definitions. I said distribution with distributors. Distributors. Right. Let me know if you have any questions. Guys, are you done? Yes, teacher. All right, thank you. Okay, the information trail customers leave behind as a result of their internet use okay. is a consumer data. Consumer data, let me write it down. Okay, consumer data. Guys, do you agree with Diego? Yes. Yes. 
The information trail customers leave behind as a result of their internet use customer data. Yeah, and this is true. Whatever yeah. you are, well, and I don't know if it is just me, but when I'm thinking, when I'm thinking about about a product or something that I would like to buy, uh, Facebook or uh, uh, Instagram or any social media, they suggest me that those things. I don't know why. I think that um, first maybe we are um, looking for uh, something similar, and then. Probably so. The social media, I think that it can hear us. Um, <laughs> yeah, using the us. microphone. No, yeah, no, that's true because um, if you if you say if you read the 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 conditions in Google or another social media, they can use your microphone exactly. um, wherever wherever they want. Yes, I know, I know. Yes, you're right, you're right. Yeah, el algo, el algoritmo. I'm sorry? Algoritmo. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, algorithm. Algorithm. algorithm, yes. When you mention algorithm. something and the Google research for you to provide your best option or they will want to show. All right, all right. Yeah. Well, okay, what is your... yeah. I'm gonna try the number two, yes, making a website more attractive to search engineers and Indians, Indians and users is a uh, direct marketing. Are you sure? Maybe optimized content. I think that's that's the best one. Optimized content, yes. Okay. Because you're you're like remember, optimized is changing, innovating, improving. That's optimizing. That's making something better. Yes. So this is making a website more attractive uh, to search engines and users. So optimized. Sorry. Something. Do, do, do you know the score? All right, there you go. Yes, that's the one. The first one is consumer data. The second one is optimized content. Number three. Do I have a volunteer for number three? Teacher, I think that the number three, uh, it is a system for selling goods or services through a network or distributors. Uh, maybe the answer is mm, multi-level marketing. Guys, do you agree with Fabricio? Yes, I think the thing. Okay. It's a multi Excuse me, multi. Multi level marketing. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue with the other one. Number four. Anyone? Number four. initiation of consumer interest into products or services of a uh, business maybe sales leads sales leads guys do you agree with diego sales leads i'm not sure about that no, why not? That one and the and the fifth. The last one. Yes. That's right. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's see the last one. The business of selling products or services directly to the public. Look, it says directly right there. Yes, it is easy, direct marketing. This one is 
Maybe, maybe I don't know. Yes, and that's how they go. Yes, they are correct. All of them. All of them are correct. Yes. So the business of selling products or services directly to the public is direct or direct marketing. Yes. All right. Very good. Thank you very much for participating right there. Now we got the uh, part number five. This one will take, a, take us a couple of minutes. It says there, rank the advantages of digital marketing, sorry, direct, look at this, direct, hold on, direct uh, digital marketing, DDM, the D, the first D stands for direct, the second D stands for digital, and the M stands for marketing, all right? From one most significant to four le least significant. From your perspective, what advantage helps online businesses attract more cu customers? So we're going to rank them from the, the first one. I mean, from the best one to the least. How can I say this? Not the worst one, because it's not the worst one. Well, it says here more, 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 most significant and least, least significant. All right. Yes. And then. Más importante choose... y menos importante. Exactly, yeah, one, two, three, and four, all right? Number one, the most important, the second one, important, the third one, less important, and the fourth one, the least important. Now, and then after that, I want you guys to do this. You're gonna choose, or, yeah, you're gonna choose one of them, and you're gonna mention which one of them is the most, uh, or the best one to attract more customers. It says there, what advantage helps online business attract more customers, all right? Let's do this. I'm going to give you a couple of, uh, well, a few minutes, a few minutes. Let's start. Let's begin. Go ahead, go ahead.
Are you done with the ranking? Yes, the chair. Okay. All right. Let's let's all agree on number one. The one or out of the four, the one that gets more votes is going to be number one. All right. Let's see. Katya, for you, which one is the most uh, efficient or most significant? Okay. For me, is uh, the DM is shift compared to yesterday's thoughts of running a magazine or radio ads. Thanks to the ever expanding in internet it is cheaper in and in some cases free to get your brand's measures out there the cost <laughs> okay thank you for your participation yes this one is, is that okay thank you. That, yeah. let's see diego what about you what is the most significant I think maybe here in El Salvador. Yes. Um, DDM is cheap compared to yesterday's costs of running a magazine or radio ad. Okay. So that one is a uh, D for Diego, right? Right there. Okay, very good. Thank you for your opinion. Fabricio, which one is the most significant for you? Okay, teacher, in my case, I think that is the number three because we are, we are talking about uh, digital marketing, uh, about selling things. Yes. And I think that if you can't measure what you are doing, um, you don't know if you have the right uh, strategy. Um, yes. 
Okay, so this one is, is the best one for you, Fabricio. All right, let me see. Uh, we got some listeners. Mauricio, what do you think? Which one is the most significant uh, for you, to you? Well, I read about the uh, the options, and I think that is the number four, mm -hmm. uh, based on the on the ships compared of yesterday's calls reading the magazine or radio ad, and the other thing that the phrase mentioned is the number four. Okay, thank you, thank you for your opinion. Let me see if we got more in right here. Matiel, what do you think, Matiel? Matiel and Mario, what do you think? Eric? In my case, I believe that the first is the most significant. Companies send a specific communication to a group of potential customers. Okay. All right. Thank you, Eric, for your opinion. What about Mario and Magdiel? What do you guys think? Opinion is number. The second one, this one. Yes. Okay, so for Mario, all right. Put full name because my computer will more issue. The MRDL, what do you think, Magdiel? The last one. The last one. Okay, this is for my All right, so let's see. So democracy has spoken <laughs> and uh, we can say that the most significant is this one down here. If you guys don't agree, it's okay if you don't agree, right? And then uh, uh, these other ones are, are, you know, two, I mean, two, three, and four. Yes, two, three, and four. We can count them. We can do that uh, all thing. Yes, very good. Now, which one can be the second one, guys? Let's let's continue with the second one now. Which one can be the second one? Hello? The second one. Hello. What was the question? Sorry, teacher. I didn't. I I lost the connection. We have, we have the most. We have the most significant. Uh, Advantage. Yes. Advantage, right, right. So what what is what can be the second one? Ah, okay. For me could be a GDM is immediate uh, since mobile user users are almost always with ours reach of their mobile device. Your text or email message will be seen in the more seconds. Okay. Okay, that, that could be the second one. The third one, which one could be the third one? And for me, it was a lot, DGNs allows to measure the success of your campaign, including to open rate of your message and the click through rate. That is the number of people who follow your link beyond their inbox. Okay. And uh, this one is the fourth one. Yes. 
Okay, guys, answers may vary. You might have a different opinion or different order, which is okay. It's okay, yes. Now, uh, we're going to continue with the sixth uh, part, uh, part number six tomorrow. And uh, we're gonna answer this question tomorrow as well, all right? Yes, let's see. Do you have any final questions about today's session? No, teacher. No. No, no okay. teacher. We have reached the ending. Mauricio, are you going to stay after class? Yes. Sure. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Let me update the attendance list and then you will be free to go. Diego Jose Anitas Leiva. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Thanks. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Present. Thank you, Julissa Yamilet Villalta Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Thank you, Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramírez. I'm here. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. And Raúl Edgardo thank you very much Raul people thank you for joining today's session it has been a pleasure to be here with you all again and well I will see you tomorrow have a good night have a good rest and take care all right bye bye people thank, thank you again. teacher good night yes. everyone bye teacher good night good night, good night everyone good night teacher good night good night All right, Mauricio, can you tell me which exercise it is? Is uh number twelve? You may were asked me. Y te le how many sin mayúscula. El how no lleva mayúscula. Y te le el mi. Vamos a ver. Children. No, no. Aún no. Falta, falta. Siga, siga. Para. Ask uh, how many children I had.
I had. Children, I had. Sin signo. Y el punto. My neighbor asked me. Póngale, en vez de my neighbor, póngale he. I can't remember the answer right now. How many children I have? The number of tareas, yes. Two point cinco. Déjame le muestro mejor acá. Vamos a ver qué me dicen de volar. Dos cinco. Es que la 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 solo acepta una tarea, una, una específica. Aunque sea correcta, la otra forma que usted coloque, va a salir mala siempre. Vamos a ver aquí abajo. Vamos a ver. Show answers. Acá está, mire. My neighbor asked me how many children I had. Pero estaba bien como usted le escribió. Oh, le quitamos el mío, ¿verdad? Pues no incluye el mío, entonces. Le incluye el mío. Si quiere, tómele una, una captura, sí, no sé si puede tomar captura para que la, la foto. So the answer is, my neighbor asked me how many children I had. My neighbor asked me, my neighbor, my neighbor asked. You got it? What was the other one? Uh, what was it? it was this one. I was mute, sorry. No, uh, 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 you can see my screen, right? No, I'm sharing my screen. Mm, no. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and now? Wait, let me share, stop sharing mine. Okay, there you go. My neighbor asked me. How many children? He's correct. Yes, I mean, o sea, si si vi ayer eso de que. O sea, en el proceso vi la respuesta y o sea, y sabía que estaba en teoría buena, pero no, no sé por qué no, no la reconoce. Need, need board. My, no, todos tienen un espacio. Uno. 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 Ve. Children. Children. Como al inicio. Scott, al inicio. Yes, yes. New. Okay, yeah, right. No, no. <laughs> It's still incorrect. My new neighbor asked. I'm going to write all of, again. My new neighbor. How many children do I have, right? 
No, I had, I had. How many children I have? Yes. Uh, without el interrogativo. No, no, punto, punto. Period. No. I don't know what the problem is. Ajá. Y también está, estaba viendo con, con, con las mismas que tuvimos problemas ayer, la que mencionaste, de, de bueno, por ejemplo, esta, ya traté entre esta y esta, pues, y me salió mala, iba a seguir tratando ahora, pero de estas también, ajá, es como, no quiero ver cuál era, me acuerdo. Pero había una de que la, las respuestas estaban inversas, la misma que comentaste ayer, de que estaban malas. Esa creo que era en el midterm. Sí, en, en, en los últimos. No era, no era en esa parte de acá. En esta, va. O sea, en, en, creo que en estas eran. Ah, igual aquí ve, todas me salen mal, ve. Y ya, ya traté. Ya traté con, con todas las habidas y por haber. Pero, o sea, puede ser mi, my, my mistake también, ¿verdad? O sea, no. Tal vez una sí se equivoca la plataforma en las, ¿no? Sí, 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 sí. En esta, en la dice, he works in a bank, she said it. Sí, mayúscula. Trabajo, trabajaba. Worked. En pasado, worked in a bank. Ok, and she, she told. O sea, o sea, punto, no. Ok. She told me that the... No se usa, no se usa that ahí, no, sé, no sé por qué no, no usan that Tampoco acá arriba No, no, ahí tampoco no. She told me they had Gone last night con la, gone out. Gone out. Hay doble espacio en una, una parte ahí. Después del mi, ah. hay doble espacio. Tras que nos cuesta el inglés y, y salen con esto. <risa> yeah, right, right, I understand. <risa> Dice, my neighbor, my es new el neighbor. Que teníamos acá. El mismo de antes es. Ah, sí, el mismo problema, Eva. Sí, sí. Where do you work? Está raro realmente porque yo le muestro la, la, la respuesta y la misma era. Sí, sí, es que eso, para eso me admiro hierba. Y por eso, Jame. Eh, dice, he asked me where do I work. Eso está correcta también. He asked me where do I work. Work it. Work. Let me see how I can. I'm going to take a screenshot and send it to you. With the answers, I think it's the best to do because we're gonna keep trying here and uh, it won't work. Let me find your number. You are Maurice Mao, right? Yes. With the pig? <laughs> yes. All right, all right. Let me share the first one, the 2.5. I just shared it. Down there, you can see the answer. My new neighbor asked me how, how many children I have. It's correct. I don't know what's going on. Did you get it? Let me know if you got it. Yes, I get it. And the other one was? Um... 
was the number that is la, la que mandarse fue la de la de la de punto cinco yes yes ah y la la primera dos punto dos esa ni la intenté two point two let me see uh -huh. This one. Okay. okay, let me see if I can share them to you with you. Let me send the other ones. What is the other one? Y la, the last one, the 2.14, nada más. Esa, las otras, sí, la, la, la puedo hacer. 2.14. Yes. It's a meter, man. We did that one yesterday. Let me see. Punto 14. Sí. Are you sure? Eh, yes. Aquí dice. Tarea 2.14. I'm going to, to search my screen again. <clears throat> oh, sí, sí, ahí está, ya la vi. Aquí está, ajá. La última. Hold on. La encontré, la encontré. Ah. <coughs> But the last part, right, lo último. Sí, así es lo último, lo de otro sí está, o sea, pues, aunque también sale mal alguna, pero solo con cambiarla ya queda bien, pues. ¿Y quién hace estos test? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. Esto I mean, suele pasar en los call centers, ¿nunca has trabajado en un call center, va? No. Eso pasa en los call centers también, de que quien hace los test, o sea, nosotros tenemos eh, mensualmente tenemos un test como de acknowledge about the product. Uh -huh. Pero quien hace los test no, no, no trabaja, no, no vende. O sea, it doesn't yeah. make sense. O sea, no, nos hace preguntas bien estúpidas. Y entonces como que nos quedamos como que qué pedo con estas preguntas. Las contestamos por puro, por puro, pues sí, por pura obligación, pues. Yes, Pero, yeah. ajá, entonces... Suele, quizás suele pasar lo mismo acá, de que quien hace los test no es profesor, solo lo, los hace. Probably so, yes. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, I don't know, honestly. I don't know. Okay. I, But, sent, you the, okay. I sent you the screen, the screenshot, the screenshot for this one. So this okay. one. Okay, thanks. Eh, Descansar y gracias por la ayuda. Y ahorita lo voy a hacer para salir ya de esto. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you, Mauricio. Okay. Thank you for staying, and I'm glad to help. Thank you. Good night. All right. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow, all right? See you.